slowly but surely started like building up these songs and these lyrics and stuff like that. And they're like super like hip hop heavy beats. Like they're just, so how can I tell you how to rap if I don't know how to rap at least decent, you know what I mean? So that's kind of like, yo, it's Bluff. You're watching Artist Spotlight with Branch Out Visuals. I mostly produce, mostly engineer. Uh, I've done that the longest amount of time. I've done that since I was like 14 years old. I used to record bands in my parents' house for like $50 a song, which is way too cheap <laughs> for, for a band. But uh, yeah, I started doing that. And then I left my parents' house for a while. I didn't really have any artists where I was at. So I had to learn how to mix vocals better and I didn't have any artists. So I was like, you know, maybe I should just do the vocals myself. And then I started doing that. And then, you know, after a while, I just started liking making music under me. And then I kind of just pushed towards trying to be an artist a little bit more, but it kind of stemmed from me just being better uh, as a producer by knowing how to write a song and then I started thinking like, how am I gonna give people advice if I don't know how to do all of it? And at least well. So how can I tell you how to rap if I don't know how to rap at least decent? You know what I mean? So that's kind of like, and now I just do all of it now. Uh, I'd say if I was like, I'd say my biggest influences for the music I make right now. Um, I mean, I love Cole, love Smino. Smino's like definitely, I think he's like one of the best. Uh, and, you know, I could say like the same top five as everybody else, but I feel like, I feel like it's really just like the Cole, the Smino's and been listening to a lot of Rage Against the Machine. So that's kind of like an out there one, but that, I mean, it's kind of similarly influenced in terms of like there's their complexity and simplicity. Like those are like, all I listen to right now, honestly. Um. So I met uh, Short Bus through Discord, actually, uh, when I was working on the Asher Roth project. He was doing like a community project and um, they were one of the producers in it. And I actually got on one of their beats for the project. One of the ones that they produced, I was on, it was the only, I was on another one, but that was like, uh, after that like pairing, they kind of hit me up saying like, you know, I like how you sound on our beats. Like, let me send you some more. And then for the last like 18 months or so, because life and just like everything, uh, slowly but surely started like building up these songs and these lyrics and stuff like that. And they're like super like hip hop heavy beats. Like they're just boom bap the, the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like they're really like, Every beat is influenced by something of that 90s to early, early 2000s era, which is like super dope because, you know, I'm still like learning too about like old shit and um, them showing me like their influences on like those things is like, is like crazy. So it really got me to tap in and uh, they're just dope. Like uh, we met up and uh, it's just kind of like clicked like right away. Like I, I I can't really make things with people I don't like fuck with on a personal level and um they're just sick. I fucking hang out with them and not make music. So probably one of my favorite videos that I've done and I haven't done a lot, so that's saying something. But uh no, it's it's just really wanted to get down to like again, I grew up like not typical of the hip hop scene. You know what I mean? But like the hip hop scene and the hardcore scene are always been in cahoots with each other, which I feel like people hate that word. But um, I just wanted to kind of like have like, just like the punk kids, like, you know what I mean? Like the, just like uh, the degenerate, like reject kids that never grow up. You know what I mean? Uh, vibe to the video, just being assholes, uh, which every culture and every place has those people. But those, that was just my experience, like being around those kids, like 
so I didn't want to like lie and, and act like I'm in some other type of environment when I'm not like this is how I grew up and Nick had his own way of growing up so we kind of like found that way of creating a harmony of like these two lives and just type of people it's, it's simple but it's like um it's real like I didn't I didn't want it to seem like too much or anything like that and just it's just gritty grimy hip-hop shit and we're just a bunch of assholes in it and it's great yeah you know what like i my favorite shows are just i mean i'm a comedy guy i love comedies i like you know i love like if serious shows like i think euphoria is amazing i love the cinematography of euphoria you know, I think it's, I mean, it's probably better than it is as, like, an actual show. It's a great show, but I just like visuals of stuff, which is funny because I don't really do many videos because it's just so overwhelming. My thoughts go way beyond what, I can't organize my thoughts well enough to, to pitch it to somebody, but um, definitely love that show. Uh, but I'm an It's Always Sunny kind of guy. The Office, love The Office. I teeter between that one and Parks and Rec a lot. So uh, The Influence... From those, maybe just like, just stems from my personality of just like not really taking many things seriously. So like, which is kind of like funny because this project is a little bit more serious, but it's also kind of not. It's just, it's just rapping. You know what I mean? There's some serious elements to it, but like, uh, I would, uh, Dave is pretty sick too. I've, I fuck with Dave. That's a little newer one, but like, I just love comedies, honestly. With like a little hint of seriousness in some of them. Like The Office has its funny moments, but then it gets a little serious. It's a little raw. You know what I mean? But that's definitely my uh, thing. I like stupid shit. I think you should leave. Amazing show. I'll, I'll say within the five to 10 year, where, I, where do I see myself overall, where I hope to be, is on track to the point where music just feels like it's just fun for me. Like, I don't really have these like goals of being this icon or this person or like this face to anybody i don't even have a goal to really have everybody see me and recognize me or anything like that like i just want like in life like i'm making music with some crazy people i'd rather them take it go crazy with it and then i could just watch like i don't really have the ego in it to like look at that and be like that should be me you know what i mean like i want to just like because i'm come from the production background you know what i mean and i like being like the behind the scenes guy you know what i mean but I hope to make it to a point where like there's a there's a divide between like my work and my play and my play is the artist side and my work is just what I do and I like doing it you know what I mean so I think uh, in five years from now I'm hoping that I'm seeing my people and the people I work with like doing some crazy shit and I'm just like chilling you know going to their shows doing some of my own too you know what I mean like I don't really have high expectations i just want to have a good life and chill with the people i like you know so good like i could eat that shit every single day um and i really fuck with italian food um but it has to be homemade italian like i don't really i don't really go outside of that it's got to be like someone's mom or dad making it but uh yeah, my girl, she's Korean, so she'd be cooking up some bulgogi and stuff like that. So I'm just a home cooked meal kind of guy. I like some home cooked meal or some really greasy fast food. That's it. I don't like greasy fast food, but I'll settle for what I can get. You know? Yo, this is Bluff. You've been watching Art of Spotlight with Branch Out Visuals. Check out my new album, Laughing in Traffic. Collab between me and Short Buzz 13. It's crazy shit.